All right, guys, it's that time of year again when the pool temps get 90, 91, 92 degrees, and it's got awful hot to go swimming. So let me show you what I've been doing the last couple days to try to cool this down and, and give you some tips and tricks of what I've learned so you don't waste some of your money on doing the same thing I've done. So check this out. Well, the first uh, little hack I did to try to save as much money as possible was I took a hose off my pump, a little spigot, and turned it on. I just ran it right over to a little sprinkler. All right, little yard sprinkler right there. Right there. Uh, my pump's only at 50%. Once you crank this pump up, it sprays a little bit better. Um, but let's see, does it work? No, not really. Does it feel good uh, when you're swimming in the pool and having the water splash you? Heck yeah, it feels good. So we're just leaving it running right now at 100% at, uh, or 80%. It'll almost shoot over the pool. Uh, for reference, the pool is 16 by 36 and 17 and a half thousand gallons. So, well, for this other little trick I did, so we had these type of jets, so the compression fitting jets. Everything you find online uh, for our sprinklers, uh, they're all threaded in. Well, I don't have threads on mine, so I had to try something different. So, I got five of these slip in ones on Amazon for $15. Now, nothing, nothing fits inside these. They're either too big or too small, so you're going to have to get a file and file some of them down. I put a union on one, threaded half-inch PVC, drilled a few holes in it. Ah, it works all right. But what I'm going to do is I'm changing this section out, and I'm going to put these tubes on there. So these, these black tubes, these black fittings, right, these are irrigation uh, so irrigation fittings which are way cheaper than your white pvc fittings and then you got just a little sprinkler it's just supposed to shoot 15 feet but there's not enough pressure on the pump so we just took these out and now i just i don't know if you can see that but it's just a straight hole um these work uh, the ones I bought off Amazon are supposed to fit in a inch and a half um, uh, jet. Well, I got this that fits in an inch and a half, and it's too big. So I went back down to the hardware store, found some other stuff that I can file down. I'm going to continue making these with the union. Um, when I file down the union, I'll show you how I did that. But essentially, slides into the back side of this eyeball. I just took this jet apart. So here's the eyeball. This part of the union I had to file down to and uh, jammed it in the eyeball. Make sure you put this collar on. It goes just like that and screws in. And then this piece, I did this so I can take off my jet and I can or my uh, my fountain and still have a small jet. You know, still still moving water. Um, so that's just a union, just like that. Um, my next step is to get threaded uh, 90 so I can thread these irrigation pipes in. Uh, I'm going to do three uh, for my three jets. I got six jets. So, so I think that should work. But when I was going back to the store, I realized I had one more trick up my sleeve. When we were building the pool, we had a bunch of water in the pool. The uh, pool builder wasn't necessarily getting the water out to my standards so i went down i don't know if you can see that but right there is a submersible pump with an inch and a half outlet it's a 4080 gallons per hour at zero foot head so right now i got about a five foot head on there and when we plugged this in last night the air temp on my sutro which is a little floaty deal over there. It was saying 91 degrees. It tests every hour. And this morning, oh, about eight o'clock, maybe 7.30, it was reading 86.4. And then 8.30, uh, it was reading 86.5. So it started coming up as the day got hotter. But let me plug this in and show you what it can do. There's a lot of, a lot of pressure when I got my uh, my discharge is angled like that so I had to get a bore drill a hole in it first time I turned it on it didn't have those clamps 
that dang pump just kept spinning and soaked me so here let me let me show you what it looks like I'm gonna have to put the camera down give me a minute all right we got it plugged in look at that pretty good fountain now the only bad thing about this is I don't know for me I got a, it's electric submersible pump so I don't allow my kids to go swimming but this brought the temp from 91 down to yeah 91 down to 86 and a half so like I said we won't swim with this on but we got this little thing doesn't really do anything now considering we got shoot I don't know a few thousand gallons an hour coming out of that so let me know what you think help me out like subscribe and share this video let me know what you have done to cool your pool down